Hey everybody, it's Nikki and I am here with another video that is my personal experience and opinion and not to be used as medical advice. Um, before I say anything else, I wanted to say John Stubblefield. Oh. Um, I got that. Um, I'm already fixing it. Um, see, and that was going to suspend me right there. But because I have my nice setting on, <laughs> sorry. Didn't mean to turn, turn this into a lecture, but it you know, presented itself. Um, because I have my setting on, I heard my pump getting ready to suspend itself. So for those of you guys in manual mode with kind of surprise high blood sugars, check to make sure that your settings are ones that you will hear. Um, because I used to not know that my pump was suspending itself. Ricky Hahn, that was, that was for you. John Stubblefield just wanted to say you left the group and you didn't need to. Um, it's okay. Even if you're not going to get the 670G, we're doing lots of diabetes talk. And if that helps, then that's great. And I wish you'd stay around. Um, and maybe the next round of artificial pancreas technology will be yours and you can come in and teach us. Um, and Sarah Clark, I had you in mind when I was doing this video, uh, when I was coming up with this video. And the reason I was coming up with it is um, because I have noticed that lots of people are watching my, I have a video that was my Minimed 670G experience. I posted it about four months ago or five months ago, six months ago, whatever it is. There's a lot going on here today. I don't know if this is gonna happen. Um, and looking back, it is how I felt at the time. And I was trying to report my numbers at the time. Um, and I did that. I even said, you know, even about auto mode and kind of being frustrated with auto mode, but feeling like it was worth it. Um, so I don't disagree with anything I said in the video, but I realize so much has changed since that video that I kind of feel like for someone popping in and just seeing that video, it's a little bit misleading. Sarah Clark, I'm thinking about you because um, I feel like someone who might just see that might go, well, look, she's getting great numbers and things are great. Um, so why can't I do that? Or, you know, there's something wrong with me. Um, and now I'm here to present the other me, <laughs> which was like, back in manual mode because I could not get what I wanted from it. Um, but I'm also here because I'm the diplomat too to say it's all okay because I still like my 670G. And truth be told, um, it has done a lot for me in both modes um, and that is true. And I'm very happy back in manual mode. So this is way longer already than I wanted. So I'm gonna try to just hit it point by point. I made three points in that video. They were about my A1C plunge, about my weight loss and about my hypoglycemia. Um, so I'm just gonna hit them and tell you what they're like back in manual mode since I've made the video. Um, my A1C plunge I reported at the time as being a 9.5 to, I can't read that, 7.1. Um, I don't lie on my videos, so that was what my A1C, I don't remember, but that must have been what my A1C had been. That, that was the difference it had been. Um, that's a fantastic improvement in A1C. Nobody can argue that. Um, since leaving auto mode, my A1C has come down to a 5.8. Um, so it's also fantastic in, in manual mode. Um, what I would like to say is that when I first went on to 670G, um, I was really having a hard time trying to figure out, you know, anything about my disease. I had, had, had had it for 14 years and with the exception of just plowing through two pregnancies and eating nothing but, you know, tofu or whatever it was. I didn't know what I was doing with diabetes. And as soon as the pregnancy was done, I was back to handling it my old way, which was to ignore everything. Um, the 670G and auto mode in specific was a boot camp experience. And it taught me how to, how to take care of my diabetes and how to really be a thoughtful diabetic and a careful diabetic. Um, that's what that A1C plunge was. It, it was, it, it was auto mode kicking my butt. Um, that was fantastic. I can't, I can't argue that. Um, weight loss. I said I lost 15 to 20 pounds. That was true then. That continues to be true now. Um, I also mentioned hypoglycemia, that my hypoglycemia dropped from a 10% to 2%. Um, that is auto mode for me. Some people don't get that result and um, that, you know, surprises me. Um, but that was one result I had that was, you know, set in stone. It definitely reduced my hypoglycemia. Now, looking back, um, it is everything it was doing to reduce my hypoglycemia is what was causing me to have problems controlling high blood sugar. And that's why I ultimately got back out of auto mode. Um, but yes, I did drop from 10% to 2% in auto mode. And that did enable me to learn how to eat right again. It had been a long time since I'd only eaten when I was hungry and not, you know, not 
binge eating, whatever, in the pantry, sweating, in the, you know, on the floor, whatever, because I had to. Um, and when you do that enough, you lose sight of how to eat correctly. And it was really auto mode that helped me. It gave me back a regular diet. Um, and it's nothing special. I'm not proud, but it's, but it's mine. Like I get to eat when I'm hungry and I get to not eat when I'm not hungry. And that's very nice. Um, so back in manual mode, since having left auto mode, I would like to say that I have continued to keep the weight off. That really is because I can eat how I like to eat now. Um, I do have an even lower A1C and what else? My weight loss, my hypoglycemia. My hypoglycemia back in manual mode, yeah, it's a little bit more, you know, I'm in manual mode again, so it's full insulin and that is a part of it. Um, I can't lie about it and say that that's not, that that's not a slight downgrade, I guess, from auto mode, because it is. Um, but with that being said, I just have better control over my numbers in manual mode, and, I'm, and that's a payoff, that's a trade-off I'm willing to make. Um, so I'm very happy in, in manual mode, controlling my high blood sugars, and occasionally, now that I know how to do it, treating with glucose tablets or, you know, one applesauce rather than Skittles and Ho-Hos, which was preferred, but, you know, there's no winning in that game. So that's it. What else? Six and a half minutes. I can't do it in less than six and a half minutes. That is my update. The only reason I'm saying it is because for those of you guys who happen to come across that first video and go, wow, everybody's getting auto mode and they love it, and I don't, I can tell you, um, I'm not in love with auto mode and I'm back in manual mode. I do like my 670G. Um, and that's that. That's seven minutes. Okay. Have a great day. Bye.